This time last year, there was a car crash outside my house. Really? What happened? I immediately called 999 and asked for an ambulance. I told them that it was an emergency and some people were injured. Two ambulances arrived within 10 minutes. They took the lady driver to hospital and the surgeons operated on her and saved her life. What about the other driver? Was he injured? The other driver did not break any bones, but he had a lot of bruises and a big cut. I met him recently and his cut has healed, but there is a big scar. He also said that the accident was not his fault and he blamed the lady driver. What about you? How did you feel? I was in shock, but I was happy I could help. By the way, the lady driver made a complete recovery. And she says the accident wasn't her fault either. Hello and welcome. I am Peter and today's topic is accidents. Now, don't worry if you didn't understand all the words in the video. As you can see on the screen, we have five steps to help you. Okay, and hopefully by the end of this video, fingers crossed, you will understand everything. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do, as you can see in the first circle, is we're going to look at today's vocabulary. And there are six pictures, and on each picture, there are two words. Okay, so picture number one. You have emergency and ambulance, and then fault and blame, heal and scar, bone and bruise, ankle and injured, and operate and save someone's life. Okay, good. So that's the first step. Now, the second step you can see is matching pairs and we're going to focus on pronunciation okay so listen carefully and check the pronunciation of all of today's vocabulary okay let's have a look the surgeons operated on the injured woman and saved her life after the cut healed there was a big scar he said the accident was not his fault and he blamed the other driver. After the cut healed, there was a big scar. In a medical emergency, call 999 and ask for an ambulance. In a medical emergency, call 999 and ask for an ambulance. He said the accident was not his fault, and he blamed the other driver. After the cut healed, there was a big scar. He said the accident was not his fault, and he blamed the other driver. He said the accident was not his fault, and he blamed the other driver. After the cut healed, there was a big scar. After the cut healed, there was a big scar. The footballer injured himself when he twisted his ankle. He did not break any bones, but he has a lot of bruises. He did not break any bones, but... He has a lot of bruises. He did not break any bones, but he has a lot of bruises. The footballer injured himself when he twisted his ankle. The footballer injured himself when he twisted his ankle. The surgeons operated on the injured woman 
and saved her life. The surgeons operated on the injured woman and saved her life. Okay, let's look at the next circle, which is explaining the words. Okay, we're going to go back to those six pictures. And I'm going to explain the meaning of the words in a bit more detail. Okay, so picture number one, you can see the ambulance in the background. And in the UK, in an emergency, you call 999 and you ask for an ambulance. I know that in some countries it's a different number, but in the UK we call 999. And then the next picture, the two drivers, if you look at them, they are not happy with each other. He is telling her that she caused the accident. He is saying that she is responsible and it is her fault. And he is blaming her for the accident. The next picture, can you see the scar on his arm? Before there was a cut there, but it has healed. Healed means when a cut or an injury gets better. Okay, look at his legs. Can you see those bruises on his legs and also on his arms? What color are they? Yes, they are purple. He's very lucky though, because he didn't break any bones. Ah, let's look at the footballer's ankle, which is just above his foot. And you can see from his face that he is in pain and he hurt himself. Another word for this is injured. So he injured himself. And here the lady is in hospital and she's having an operation. It's a very serious situation. But thanks to the surgeons, she didn't die because they saved her life. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's move on. And you can see the yellow circle. We're going to practice. Now, before we practice, just to let you know, Today's words are in the box at the top, and then there are six sentences, okay? And use those six words in the box to fill in the sentences. We're going to give you five seconds to hit the pause button, and then we're going to give you the answers, okay? Ready, and good luck. Okay, let's check it together. So number one, in a medical emergency, call 999 and ask for an ambulance. Then number two, he said the accident was not his fault and he blamed the other driver. Number three, after the cut healed, there was a big scar. Number four, he did not break any bones, but he has a lot of bruises. And number five, the footballer injured himself when he twisted his ankle. And then the last one, number six, the surgeons operated on the injured woman and saved her life. Okay, so... I hope the practice went okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the last one, the orange circle. We're going to watch the video again. And then when we come back, I've got something for you. Okay, so watch the video and see you in a minute. This time last year, there was a car crash outside my house. Really? What happened? I immediately called 999 and asked for an ambulance. I told them that it was an emergency and some people were injured. Two ambulances arrived within 10 minutes. They took the lady driver to hospital and the surgeons operated on her and saved her life. What about the other driver? Was he injured? 
The other driver did not break any bones, but he had a lot of bruises and a big cut. I met him recently, and his cut has healed, but there is a big scar. He also said that the accident was not his fault, and he blamed the lady driver. What about you? How did you feel? I was in shock, but I was happy I could help. By the way, the lady driver made a complete recovery, and she says the accident wasn't her fault either. Okay, so I hope you understood it a bit more this time. You can see he was not happy. He was blaming her for the accident, and she was not happy either. So she was blaming him for the accident. I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, I hope it's a happy ending. Now, if you look below, there are two links. One link is to help you with today's lesson. It's a PDF with some extra activities to help you learn today's words. Just send me. An email. You can see my email there, Peter at elearningenglish.com, and I'll send it to you hopefully on the same day. Make sure you mention the topic accidents, and then I I know exactly which PDF to send you. And also there is a link to our course, and you can have a free trial.、Um, just click on the link; it'll take you to our website. You can have a free trial and look at our course, which is called English in 80 Videos. I hope. You had a good time today. I hope you learnt a lot, and see you soon. Bye for now.